Well, good morning. It's Mac Tyner here in the citrus yard. We'll be learning about grafting citrus the easy way today. And I apologize for the poor video. I'm doing it all myself here. I'm not an expert, but here's the way it goes. Here we have a previously grafted citrus tree. And the rootstock on this one is a satsuma. Grafted onto it, we have a pond can or Chinese honey. It's a small tree. You can see that it's on a side shoot, and once it gets planted, it'll have to learn to grow straight up, but I assure you that it will do that due to geotropism. Now down here at the graft, you'll see where I've nicked back the top of the tree, and it's grown around the corner. You, can you see that there? Anyway, now it's separated here from the parent tree and it's on its own. The graft is rather long. I would say that's about five inches long. It's not a very pretty graft, but it has healed completely. This one's been separated at least four or five months from the parent tree. Eventually this will all heal over and be fine. And I'll do a, a second video to show how a tree is prepared for grafting and why you would want to do this. Here is my tree that I'm going to graft onto the rootstock. This is another seedling satsuma. You see it's probably four feet tall, ready to graft. It's in the same pot with a small Chinese honey. They're separated by this sheet of aluminum, thin aluminum stock to keep the roots from growing together so that the two trees can be separated later. I grow them this way together this tree has got to grow a bit before it can be grafted to the other tree. You can see they're not quite large enough yet. It'll probably take another six months to a year before it's ready to graft. I use this double tree method in the class I teach at Santa Fe Community College in community education to show people how to graft trees that they can do it in class and take the two trees home with them and separate them later and then have a grafted citrus tree. I use the rootstock satsuma mostly now because say that comes a very cold winter as we had here in 1989 and 1985 and 1983 when it was way down in the teens, 10 degrees in many places and everything was killed back. At least you will have a seedling satsuma left over even if the top of the tree is killed down to the ground. So we'll adjourn now to the front yard and show some grafting, how the tree is prepared for grafting. First we have to remove all the, all the leaves from the tree because they're just in the way of the grafting operation. Here you see my barrels of water which keep the trees nice and warm. In the winter you see a large Chinese honey tree. This is a seedling and a grafted Chinese honey, which is almost the same size, but not quite. Anyway, you too can graft citrus in North Florida. Bye for now.